Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Literally J. Thank you so much for joining me in for another video. I know it's I've been quiet on YouTube, although I've been very regular on Instagram. If you don't follow me, go ahead and follow me on there. Okay, the reason why I've been MIA is because I started my new role in finance. Uh, so as you know, as I discussed in the past, I've taken deliberate time off for nearly about a year from finance and I found a really amazing role working for NHS as a finance business partner. So that has been amazing. It's been really keeping me busy. It's a very very challenging role it is a lot more senior role that I've done in the past so I've been just trying to focus on that trying to make sure child's taken care of the home's taken care of and my work's taken care of although I've been very regular on Instagram so if you don't follow me on there I'm gonna put the link below please go ahead and follow me for all the fashion beauty and lifestyle content so before I go on and on this video is not about life update although I will make another one after this and talk to you and have a chat with you guys sorry that's my son screaming downstairs he's just very excited he's sitting with his dad and they're listening to the music so if you hear loud music and a child screaming <laughs> It is my child just screaming. Anyways, okay, this video is so exciting. I've been meaning to record this for a couple of weeks now. I just haven't had a chance. So if you follow me on Instagram, I've already unboxed one of the items I'm gonna to talk to you about, but the other item I haven't unboxed and nobody's seen it yet. Okay, as you can see from the title, Ooh, my pink eye makeup. I'm not sure. Did I go crazy on it? But I kind of like it. You know me. I love pink. And if you're sorry to deviate. Okay, let me just talk to you about this. So if you follow me on Instagram, I love color, right? Just recently, because of COVID, um, I just wanted to bring a very serene vibe on my Instagram. So I've been kind of mixing with golds, neutrals, whites, and everything. But I do manage to get a pop of color in there. As you know, I love doing color themed Instagram posts on my feed. It's very color oriented. So now pink is coming back and I'm so excited. Although my, my nails pink, but this nail broke. So if you see in the video me opening up my pretty shoes and then banged up nail, I'm not trying to show you a finger, but anyways, I don't know. This one, it just, I think broke over the weekend. Anyways, let's not deviate. Let's go right into the video. In this video, I wanted to unbox two amazing, amazing pair of shoes. As you know, we all love Sex in the City. I'm thinking we all love Sex in the City. In my head, we all love Sex in the City. So we all know, you know, Carrie has made Manolo's a uh, statement shoe that you could ever have out there. So I've been a Jimmy Choo girl in the past, but I wanted to start my Manolo collection and I've started with these two Fabulous, fabulous. Sorry, that's my son down there. Can you actually hear him scream? I'm sorry, I don't even know if you can actually hear him scream. I'm hearing him scream. Back to the shoes. So um, I've been a Jimmy Choo girl in the past and I've been meaning to start my Manolo collection, but I haven't really found the color that I would wear and the style. And I didn't want to really go for blue because everybody's got blue, as you know, Carrie's made it. I think in one of the episodes, no, it was in a movie where Big proposed to Carrie with the uh, blue Manolo. Hangacy. Uh, so anyways, so I didn't want to get the blue one. I will probably get it at some point, but not just yet. Okay, first I'll share Hangacy. So this one, so the very, so as we know, Manola Blanc. Focus, focus, focus. So I am size 38 and um, this shoe, I've been looking for this color everywhere, okay? For me, when I'm doing investment into shoes or bags and I'm spending a lot of money on them, I wanna make sure they're the right color that I would actually wear, but I know <laughs> I have a trend. Um, any designer bags or shoes, I tend to stick to pinks because I wear a lot of pink. And even if you're wearing different colors like blacks and whites, you could throw on a pink, you know, it's a pop of color, right? I love pink. So I wanted to start, I kind of already told you what the color looks like. So, ooh. so my very first one is Hangacy. I've kind of opened this by myself when it arrived. Oh, let me tell you a little bit of story as I was saying So this color I've been looking for this color for a very long time I didn't find anything on the Manolo website Farfetch, Nette Porter or any of the normal ones that you would normally find designer shoe even Harrods I, They didn't have this color. So I came across Tahab.com and they're based in the Middle East and now 
I think they're the best kept secret for the designer shoes now I'm telling you so you're welcome and uh, and the staff and the customer service is so amazing so normally what you do is you go on their website and you're looking around there's normally a chat box so they're very interactive if there's a size that they might not have on the website because they have an actual store in uh, I, I'm thinking it's somewhere in Middle East I don't want to say Dubai I'm not sure but I'll put the link below for them Anyways, if you're looking for a shoe and you don't see the color, you could always message them and they could check if they have it in the store. Sometimes they don't list, they update their website as regularly, but they might have it in the store, which happened in this case, okay? So I was looking for this. I was so happy I came across. So I've been on their website uh, around Christmas time. I didn't find the color and the shoe that I wanted. They had other colors and they sometimes even have items on sale. Really good, I would say, probably the best prices I've seen, just maybe because they're not so well known their prices are reasonable now this shoe is like the prettiest prettiest hangacy I've ever seen go a little touch on the heel as you can see I haven't worn it yet I haven't styled it yet but I think it's the prettiest prettiest I think Harvey Nichols is probably the only other place that has this shoe and this is the heel is 105 Okay. Also, I wanted to make sure, um, I wanted to get the crystal that doesn't have a grayish feel to it. Some of the hangacies come with a grayish feel to it, grayish, grayish tint to it, but I wanted to make sure it was just all clear. I think it just looks much more prettier if it's all clear. Anyways, uh, so this is one of the shoes I think is so pretty. I could literally stare at this all day. I don't know what I'm going to wear. Well, I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of it. I'll be wearing this loads because I wear pink loads. Even if you're wearing white outfit, cream, gold, whatever have you, I think the hint of color is always so sexy. So yeah, so that is one of them. Very, very happy. And for the price, I'll list the uh, price below as well for both of the shoes that I'm going to share. I did get a good deal out of it because, again, top.com, their prices are very reasonable. They're not as expensive as you would find the same shoe on the normal website, even Manolo website. Um, but Manolo just recently had a sale. I'm not sure if you noticed. So I signed, I signed up to their sale, but unfortunately, I didn't really find anything that I would actually love because none of the classics were on there. I think they were more like um, their seasonal shoes. So, so I didn't really find anything in the sale. Anyways, okay, now for the second pair of got lorem i've been obsessed with lorem as you can see i actually got this so you can see the coating is a little bit different because i got this from harrods and you can see the price on there is 8.95 i've been obsessed with lorem manolo for such a long time and i think it was last year they came or two years ago they came out with the shade of pink i've been looking for that in my size i couldn't find it anywhere anyways the color that i originally wanted in lauren was pink that i showed you in hangazi that i just got but i couldn't find it i think there's a website in america i forgot what it's called uh but they had it they had it in my size but in order to get it shipped it was another 400 I'm like, that is not worth it. So anyways, when I came across this color, which came on Harrods, I was like, you know what? I am, I know I want the pink one. I'll probably get that down the line, but this color, I already shot this look on my Instagram. But how gorgeous. This is literally the prettiest shoe I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I am obsessed. So the heel doesn't really have the gold touch as a hangacy does, but I already shot in it. So you can see it's already been kind of worn around the house. <laughs> I haven't gone anywhere in it yet because of Corona. But again, this is size 38. I feel like 38 is a good size. Now, some people say go half a size up. I would normally get 37 and a half, but 38 seems to be really good fit for me. I've got narrow feet. Um, yeah, so these are the two shoes that I wanted to share. I think they're so pretty. Literally, okay, why am I holding it wrong? I could easily wear this with pink. I've worn it with, I shot this with a white dress. I think it's like really, it really stands out. Um, well, those are the two Manolos that I'm starting my collection with. I think the next Manolo I'm probably gonna invest this is gonna be Lorem because I love the style. I love the shape Every year Manolo comes with different colors in Lorem. So I'm excited to see what's gonna drop next 
Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to share it with you. Let me know if you have uh, your own collection of Manolo. Would you prefer Hengsi or Lorem or why? Let me know what shoe you like. Also, I'll put the link below for both of them. I think Harrods still might have a few sizes left in this color. And Tahop.com, they're usually very good. And the customer service at Tahop.com is so incredible. They are so sweet and they have their WhatsApp account. So now I'm looking for Amina Muadi shoes. And as you know, they're always sold out. But they did let me know Amina Muadi's new collection might be dropping uh, in their store next week. Uh, so there's a particular color that I'm looking for. So hopefully, I'm hoping that they'll stock it there. And shipping is very quick as well with Tahop.com. It literally came in two days. I remember I was going away for the weekend. I really wanted to have the shoe for, because I wanted to create some content while I was gone. Although we just went to Brighton. <laughs> we were staying in a really nice place, Drake's Brighton. If you go on my Instagram, I'll pop up the pictures. Yeah, so I wanted to shoot um, the look and uh, they were so sweet. They literally shipped it right away. And shipping costs, I believe it was 20 pounds pounds it's not so bad because i guess it's coming from middle east it's not as bad if it's coming from america which was like 400 that was like ridiculous like that's like half of the price of the shoe i don't think that's worth it anyways that's all guys i i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what type of videos you want me to do next now that i'm settled into my new role i'm gonna try to do more videos and uh yeah I hope you're having a good summer. Well, summer's nearly over. We're nearly into August now. Let me know what you've been up to. Let's have a chat. I feel like I haven't, I connect a lot with my audience on Instagram, my followers on Instagram. I feel like I haven't really done that here on YouTube, but I would love to start having those conversations with you. Drop me a comment and I will, pro I promise to reply back and please subscribe to my channel so you can see more fun unboxing videos and let me know what you want to see. If you want to see some sort of vlog style if you already follow me on instagram let me know the content that i share in my stories if you want me to bring that over here in vlog style yeah and i will see you in my next video till then take care bye